The rally has a new name, not Reflation, not Trump, but Melt Up and Stopping the World to Talk to You is Virgie Financial's Matt Cheslock. Matt, Thursdays are the best days. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and especially, well, today the market's not up, but yesterday would have been a good day for a Thursday with the market being up 300. That's true, but let's take a look at this melt up name because we are still in a bull market, right? Apparently, this name is given because even the wary ones are entering the market now. Like you said, not necessarily today, but this week. Why is that? Why now? Uh, you know, I think people are finally satisfied at the beginning of the year, saying, you know what, we know what the tax reform is going to be. We, you know, we know where we can start putting money. They're starting to. Uh, take into account companies are going to be using some of this repatriation of money, uh, and they're going to be using it for what M and A and buybacks. So that's good for the market itself. Uh, so the shareholders will be rewarded then. So um, I think those are some of the main reasons. Now we have a pretty good handle on what the Fed is looking to. Uh, they now start saying, you know what, we're not focused so much on inflation anymore. We're focused on some other things. So uh, this market's got some tailwinds behind it, and we have some new money in the new year, and that's why we're seeing these rallies. Oh, I'm glad you brought the Fed up. I was gonna, I was gonna do that last because we haven't talked about it in a while, and since we have a few Fed speakers, I know, but that's okay. We're gonna talk about it now. Uh, here's something interesting. Instead of a uh, uh, buy the dip strategy. One strategy being mentioned is to buy the first rate hike and sell the last. Can the markets move in tandem with the Fed funds rate? Uh, I mean, they certainly can. If enough people are on board, um, that certainly can be kind of a trade. So basically, you're buying the news, buying the rumor, and you're selling the news. So by the time the last rate hike comes, when we're expecting three, maybe four, they're going to give us a pretty good indication if they're going to do four beforehand. So you could sell going into that. That would be the later half of this year. That's when I'm more concerned. The first half of this year is going to be solid. Uh, I think companies now in the fourth quarter have reported numbers, and their forecasts are good for the first and second quarter. After that, it's a little bit more opaque. So uh, that's why you may want to sell that second half of the year. All right. Well, check out this. Check out this other combo. Since you did mention the first half of the year, two weeks so far, we've had stock prices move up simultaneously with volatility. How do you look at that? You know, that, that's interesting. You know, but but uh, you look the other day when we were up over 200 and then we went down, that's plenty of volatility, although the market closed flat that day. Yesterday, there's a 300 point move. So there's volatility with this market. It's just one sided volatility. So um, I think that's what you're starting to see. People are starting to get the feeling that there could be volatility associated with the market, even though it's going in one direction. Uh, so it's a little strange, a little bit different than what we've seen. Uh, but it is interesting to note the VIX now is over 12 while the market's hitting all time highs. But I think people are starting to say, you know what, I'm starting to get a little scared here, a little scared. I'm going to buy some insurance. Cool, cool, cool. Now we have time for one more bonus question. Matt, where do you think Amazon will put their headquarters? Uh, I mean, they're down to 20. Uh, I would imagine it's going to be some kind of backroom deal that's going to provide them a lot of different stuff, which, you know, Jersey, you know, is mentioned in it. Uh, I'd be surprised if they go there. Um, I, my guess is it's going to be somewhere close to D.C. They want to get a handle on what's going on down there. Good luck with that, by the way. Um, but um, it's got to be somewhere where you can get some, some pretty good land, pretty cheap. So uh, it be interesting. So I, I don't know the answer to it. Uh, I'm not smart enough to know. I'm hoping it's not New York. It's already annoying enough to commute into the city, right, Matt? <laughs> Be drones everywhere before we know it. Oh, God. Well, anyway, thank you so much, Matt. Stay warm today and have a sick trading day. Oh, thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend.